Aloha beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today's video as you can already tell from the thumbnail I'm going to be talking about a brand new purse that I just purchased but I wanted to start doing my scent of the day so let me share with you guys what I'm wearing today as my perfume I have gone in with my Coco Chanel Mademoiselle this right here is oh this is a gem it smells absolutely amazing um, I talk about this in countless videos that I posted and it's just a very classic timeless piece I honestly feel like this smells amazing this is my perfume of the day Coco Chanel Mademoiselle all right you guys so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a brand new purchase it is my new coach purse this is the Claire crossbody you guys and it is absolutely adorable it's very versatile you can use it on your shoulder like so I hope you guys can see that so, you can use it on your shoulders really really really, really cute um, I'm like five five and a half um, and you can also use it as a crossbody like so let me just pick up this you guys can see it this is how it looks crossbody on me cute Okay guys, so this purse right here, um, I wanna say it retails for $348. I actually took the price tag off and I'm not too sure if it was $348 or $358, um, but it's around that range. But of course, you know, you can get this off of the Coach Outlet website for $179. And let me tell you, I was really, really upset because after I purchased it and everything, two days later, it went on sale for $149. So it's, I really suggest just, you know, giving it some time. And I know you want it like right now because that's how I am. I'm like, dude, I want this right now. Like, I don't want to wait for it to go on sale. I want it right now. It's already on sale. I mean, it's half off. $348, the $179. It's half off. So, anyways, I wish I waited. Um, I could have just purchased it for the $149 and returned this one and call it a day but I was like mm, that's just doing too much and I like I said I wanted this purse right now so got this purse you guys and I've been eyeballing this for a very 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 long time okay probably a good year now I've been eyeballing this purse and I finally got it and it's not that I couldn't purchase it it was just like I was just like, mm, I don't know, I don't really go out that much, so it's like kind of pointless. But I've been needing a nude bag for the longest, and I actually need a full black bag as well. Um, but anyways, I decided to go with the nude, and this one right here, so here is the close-up of it. You guys can see it has the Coach um, logo going on, so the gold hardware. Um, now, I was expecting this material to be more of like a grainy material, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, to have like some kind of texture going on but this is like really smooth and I wasn't really expecting that I guess I wasn't really paying close attention but anyways um, it's like a dual tone color going on so you have like a dark nude going here a lighter nude here and the same nude going on back here and then on the side I really love this detail of the snake skin it's absolutely gorgeous you guys I really love this purse I find it's just so beautiful it, it's just like it's it's amazing like it's just versatile like I said then you have here the coach uh little hang tag going on I haven't taken this off because I don't know why I don't know why I haven't taken it off um so this came in the mail um pretty well packaged for the most part now I will say that before I purchased this I ended up purchasing a Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, you guys, and I know the price increase makes people like kind of weary in getting the purse nowadays because it has gone up quite a bit since like years ago where it was only like $900, $1,600 with tax nowadays. Um, so I ended up purchasing the Speedy 25, y'all, and I, I was feeling really guilty because I was just like, hmm. Kim, you don't really go anywhere and it's just like, ugh, but I really wanted that purse and I'm going to get it. I'm going to get that purse, okay? I'm claiming it in Jesus' name. But I returned the Speed 25, you guys, 
and I was just like let me just opt for this right here because I've been eyeballing this for a while now and so got this you guys and I'm not disappointed at all okay let me just say that um so let's just go ahead and talk about what's inside of my bag this is a multi-compartment purse it has a total of three compartments including this zipper compartment here which i don't keep anything in because i just i don't carry a lot of stuff other than my wallet and a couple of other little accessories which i'm going to show you so i'm going to start from the back so i have of course a sanitary napkin just in case because you never know you never know and I also have some napkins because lately my nose has been running. I don't know what's going on. I like, I feel like I've told many people, like, I've seen planes flying in the sky, dropping stuff like product. I don't know what it is, but I feel like they dropping something on us. I don't know what it is. Okay. I pray that it's nothing detrimental to our health, but I've seen it. And if you've seen it, then you know what I'm talking about, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, I've also got some hand lotion here. This is from Bath and Body Works. This this is the uh, Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I love this scent. This scent pairs so perfectly with my Burberry Her perfume. Oh my gosh, it, it pairs so perfectly. I have a, I had a full size bottle of this, and all summer long I was using this lotion with my Burberry Her, and it just ooh, smells amazing, y'all. Amazing, so fruity. I also have this brush here, this compact mirror brush. Um, the brush pops out, and I just comb my hair, you know, you know. I only really use this when my hair is straight and like it is today. Um, my hair has grown so much, y'all. Like, I'm really grateful. But anyways, I have this compact brush here with the mirror, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. It was just really, really cheap, but it, it does a job. I'll take this hair out. And yeah, got that. I really have been eyeballing the Chanel Dual Mirror Compact. Um, the Chanel Dual Compact Mirror. It's only $42, but that's expensive for a mirror, one. Um, really you're just paying for the name, but I really just, I, I really want it y'all. I've been into like eyeballing luxury items, so I don't know what's going on, but I don't know. Um, I also have a headband, a hair tie, you know, just in case, just in case. Cause I hate like when my hair is down and I want to put it up and I don't have anything to put it up with, especially when my hair is straight. When my hair is straightened, I need a hair tie in order to bundle it up because if I try to put it in a bun, it's not going to stay. Um, I also have my, my lip gloss of the day. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Cranberry Pie. And I just think I, I just think it looks so beautiful, y'all. It's just a very beautiful shade. So NYX is a very great brand of lip gloss. So that is everything in the last compartment. So going into the middle compartment, I have my headphones that I love to carry around because I just never know if I want to listen to some music while I'm waiting somewhere. Um, I love these type of headphones. Um, I think my husband got these off of Amazon. They just go around your ear like so and they just, they just stay put and I really like that. They don't move around or nothing. Uh, I had some AirPods, y'all, and I lost them, and I'm really upset because I know they're somewhere. You know how you lose something and you know it's somewhere, and it just pops up, like, years later, and you're like, dang, where you been at? Like, I've been looking for you. That's how I feel about my AirPods. I know they're somewhere, but I just don't know where. So, my husband was like, I'm not buying you a new pair of AirPods. So, I had to opt for the Amazon brand, which I actually love better than the AirPods, but not really. I have also have my wallet in here. This is a coach wallet as well. Just a white coach wallet my husband gifted me last year. Um, I think for Christmas, he had got me two purses and he got me this wallet as well. Either for Christmas or just because present. Because my husband does that. He just gets me presents just because. That's why I love him so much. Um, but that's not the only reason why. So yeah, I got my wallet in here as well. 
And the last thing that I have in my mental compartment in my purse is a pen because you just never know. And I don't really like carrying pens in my purse because sometimes, you, you know, you never know if the ink will leak or something like that and just ruin the interior of your purse. But I'm praying that this does not leak. Um, so that's that. Um, then the zipper compartment, like I said, I don't have anything in it. It's just empty. Um, and then the, in the very front compartment here, I have an envelope with petty cash from my job um, that I keep with me just in case I need to use it. So that is everything with my purse. Um, with my purse empty that is everything in it this is a very spacious purse and i will say one of the cons that i don't like about it is if it's too full this right here will like kind of slant up like this and look look like this and that's if i have it stuffed with with too much items um i would say i will say that's the only downfall um so like all of this that i just showed you um allows it to just close Close and have like an even closure. Another con that I don't really like about this purse is the clasp. It's very hard to find. I have to fiddle with it a lot. I have to do this a lot. Now it's easy to close right now because there's nothing in the purse and it just, the clasp finds itself and it closes. But with all the product in here, which I will show you, I'm gonna put everything back in here. So with everything back in here, you guys, when I try to close it, as you can see, it is a bit of a struggle. It's closing now, but I think when I put like, like say for instance, I'll put my perfume of the day. If it's, if it's a bottle like this, something small, like my Chanel perfume, if I try to stuff my perfume in here, I, I'm just gonna move my tissue aside and, and put my perfume right here. When I try to close it, it's like, I have to struggle. Like it's not closing. And as you can see, it has like that little, that little slant going on because of that perfume trying to be fitted in here. But you guys, other than that, this purse is really cute. It's really, really cute. It kind of gives me like um, the Chanel flat bag type of vibe. But of course, this is this isn't Chanel. I mean, come on. Um, but if you are looking to get something similar to Chanel and you're on a budget, most definitely look into this purse right here. It's definitely worth investing. Coach purses are really, really good when it comes to the material. This right here, I feel like the hardware, everything about it, it's going to last a very, very long time. Now, I will say this part right here on the strap, I don't know. Um, I'm really praying that nothing really tears or breaks apart because it looks kind of looks a little on the cheap side but hopefully this is actual real leather um so it won't break down or anything another thing about this type of material right here is you have to be careful when you like are walking and you brush it across like a brick wall or something it may scratch the bag so that's another thing that i have to be careful with but other than that you guys this bag is absolutely amazing i highly recommend it if you're looking for it inexpensive crossbody or even a shoulder bag like i said it's very versatile it goes both ways over your shoulder or across your body like so and yeah i just really love this purse you guys and so so yeah you guys that is basically everything that i have to say about this purse and what all is in my purse what all fits in it um, if you guys have this purse, then let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very blessed rest of the week in Jesus' name. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!